Welcome back to Movie Health Community, where we talk about the health hazards at the movies. Please keep in mind that nothing published by Movie Health Community is medical advice of any kind. Today's movie is Talk To Me, the new A24 horror movie from Australia. By the way, if it, if it sounds like I'm sick and exhausted, it's because I am sick and exhausted. I'll get the first question out of the way right off the bat. Is Talk To Me safe for photosensitive audiences? No, it is not. The opening scene has a strobe light going off constantly through a party. A lot of the possession scenes end with some really intense flickering lights. And there are some really harsh emergency vehicle lights in a scene where someone is walking out to a car in a heavy rainstorm. For flashing lights, we gotta give this movie a 9 out of 10. The only reason it's not a 10 is because that, that does not take up a whole lot of the runtime. But the strobing that does happen is very intense, and important things happen while the strobe lights are going off. In terms of motion, the motion of the cameras was actually really smooth. There are a few sudden jerks of the camera that follow heads going like that on occasion, but that's all very smooth. There's a little bit of shaking, like really mild shaking and really brief shaking during some of the action scenes. And again, that does not happen a lot. One big mental health trigger warning on this movie is that while dealing with bodily possession from spirits, people are possessed to do things that harm their body and their well-being, including taking their own lives. Now, is the movie any good? I would say it's a pretty effective horror movie. It does succeed in one of the more important things that a horror movie needs, and it makes you care about the characters. It is made so that the main characters are on occasion assholes, but you always understand where they're coming from when they are assholes. I was actually really impressed with the camera work. Like I was talking about earlier, the decision to have the camera follow the motion of people's jerking heads, that was a good choice. I was really impressed by a lot of the long takes in this movie. I just wish that they hadn't been covered in strobe lights. I did have a little bit of a logistical problem with the writing, and that was one part where it's very clear that a uh, hospital is grossly understaffed, and the fact that this was an Australian movie, I don't know much about Australian hospitals, but that seemed like a much more American problem for there to be. But that's just a nitpick. If you like a good horror movie, and especially want to check out what horror movies are being made in other countries, Talk To Me is a good one to check out. Oh, and also, with this movie, there were some really effective jump scares that were not actually loud. Like, just a sudden appearance of something disturbing. That was some really effective horror. But because I'm not a huge horror fan, but I appreciated the filmmaking of this movie, I'm going to give it a B+. We want to thank our followers on Tumblr and Facebook and give an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page. Thank you so much for making all of this possible. Also, thank you to everybody who has signed our petition to the FCC and now the FTC as well to remove strobe effects from all advertising. We crossed over 500 signatures this week and we're really gaining momentum on change.org. Also, tomorrow, August 11th, is the eight-year anniversary of Movie Health Community. So watch us on Tumblr and Facebook for a special post about that. This has been a video evaluation from Movie Health Community. Stay safe at the movies.